Guess who's excited today? This guy, because right at the mining farm, we're still mining on Starlink for better and worse, and I still haven't made my deployment better. It needs to go there on the uh, mining shed behind me. Uh, but right now, I've kind of paused the mining shed development. It may take a turn to be an immersion mining shed uh, because I was able to work with Digital Shovel and be the beta tester for this mini pod which they've been making mini pods for a while, but this is the first 208 voltage, which basically means that it's not only compatible with three phase electricity, but it's also compatible with single phase electricity, which is all I have out here. I'm working with the electric company to bring three phase out here, but I'm still probably a year out. So you can see behind me, I got a bunch of miners deployed, and most notably, the best Bitcoin miner you can buy right now. I'm gonna step out because it's a little loud in here. Uh, but the best Bitcoin miner you can buy right now, dollar for dollar, you know, just just crushing it, bang for buck, is gonna be the Bitmain Amp Miner S19 J Pro, 120 terahash a second, or there's a 117 terahash a second, and there's a 122 terahash a second. Uh, but the bottom line here is that when you crunch the numbers, this is supposed to be one of the best ones but is it actually well that's what today's video is about so we're going to be diving into the bitmain well i already said the model number is long i don't want to say it again but it's a bitcoin mining rig and dollar for dollar this is the best passive income producing machine uh for bitcoin mining again at least on paper but does it hold up like it's supposed to and above all what is the real world mining profitability today i'm going to walk you through all of that i'm also going to show you the basic uh setup with this and it's so easy and simple you can do it on your smartphone but you'll see that it's not optimized for mobile uh so we're going to run through all that stuff and more where to get one uh, in this video. So without further ado, let's dig into it. Which by the way, my name is Vosker on the Voscoin YouTube channel and you better subscribe. I really can't understate what an opportunity this Bitcoin miner is. This is so much Bitcoin hash rate for the money, right? Bitcoin hash rate is your Bitcoin mining power. More Bitcoin mining power equates to more Bitcoins mined. Well, unless everyone else is pumping up their hash rate. I can tell you with certainty because I know this. Major Bitcoin mining farms are piling on to this model of miner. Which, on one hand, kind of sucks because that means that there's going to be many more new all-time highs hit for Bitcoin mining network hash rate. But on the other hand, this is a great opportunity for the smaller guys like maybe me and you to expand our Bitcoin miners. So, specifically, this is the Bitmain Ant Miner S19 J Pro Plus Bitcoin Miner. There's the 117 terahash a second version and the 122 terahash a second version. The 117 version was a couple hundred bucks cheaper, but those have sold out very quickly. So, there's another batch that has just come in at this price point. Uh, for, for that much, I'd rather just go up 80 bucks and get the 122 terahash a second version. Both of these are a little bit different than the version I have. You're like, well, why would I go to a reseller? Well, one, because you can save some coin by punching in the code VOSCOIN. But you're like, oh, I'll just buy it direct from the manufacturer. Well, good luck, because they're not here anymore, um, and they were similarly priced from the manufacturer. All you can do is buy the overpriced S19 XP at $6,500. So you put that into comparison, right? You go up 20 terahash a second and you only save 300 watts. This dollar for dollar, and again, I just can't understate this, is the best Bitcoin miner value. Bang for buck, right? Hash rate per dollar that we've seen in quite a while. Just remember that the last Bitcoin bull run, people were buying the S19 that wasn't as good or efficient as this for 10000 Dollars. I'm not just hodling Bitcoin, I'm hodling Bitcoin miners, and I couldn't be more serious about that. I added this to my Pegapool mining account. Pegapool has boasted that they are the most profitable Bitcoin mining pool, so I'm doing a long-term test uh, with them on that. It's been a good experience. Uh, we can see I have a couple different accounts here. So I've got a Canon Avalon miner in this Foscoin 2 account, and I have uh, the miner question, the S19J Pro Plus, in the Voscoin 3 account. 
So let's take a step back here and go through the setup, right? So again, we're mining Bitcoin. You need you need to know how to set up an ASIC miner and have proper electricity for this. You can't just plug this into any old outlet in your house. Video tutorial guys on both of those specifically. Uh, I am personally deploying this into my digital shovel. Uh, I got a link down below. You can save some coin mentioning Voscoin on that one too. But basically I've deployed my miners into a plug and play Bitcoin mining container. And uh, it, it's, it's honestly it's pretty cool. It's pretty easy, pretty awesome. Furthermore, this is even operating on single phase electricity. I don't have three phase, which has made this so much more accessible. And anyone helping making Bitcoin mining more accessible to the little guys is as cool as you can be in my book. So I put the miner in there. I plug in a power cable, right? So I've got a C20 connection on the PDU on the walls in here. And that's the thing that looks like we call it the stone face. You know, it's the two lines and the little underline below. And then from there, the cable splits into two C13s or C14s, which plug into the attached power supply on the amp miner. Then I plug in an ethernet cable to get internet to it and I'm set. Bitcoin mining is really cool, but to be honest, it's loud. The devices are expensive. And there are some pretty interesting alternatives. Like I'm earning $60 a month in passive income after my electricity bill using this hard drive miner. It's small, barely any heat or noise, and it's profitable. Check it out with the link down below and save some money by using our coupon code BOSSCOIN. So it's better to log in on a laptop, but I also wanted to show how easy it is. It's, you know, UX isn't the best, but it works uh, to even do it on your phone. So I grabbed the IP address for my router. I punched it into my browser on my phone. I, it takes me to the miner. I put in root for the username, root for the password. And then I go to the mining pool settings and I just copy and paste my pool and account information, click save and I'm done. That's all you really need to do. There's not all that many options or customizations possible inside of these miners, especially these days. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's it. Um, at that point, you can see the miner pop up on the mining pool. Uh, happens pretty quick. And so you'll see some short-term performance there. All that really matters is going to be your income records. So I go over to revenue, all right, refresh this latest data. And whatever your average hash rate per day is going to be what you're paid off of. So a few days ago, I registered 122, almost 123. Uh, my worst day was about 118, and then the last two days I've averaged about 120 and a half terahash a second, which puts me pretty much right on target with an average of 120.5 terahash a second per day. This has equated to about an average, I'd say, of uh, this much Bitcoin per day, which equates to 32,000 Satoshis, which is kind of like pennies on the dollar for Bitcoin, or $9.10 in mining profitability per day. This is a slightly more profitable, again, two terahash bump there because I have the 120 model, uh, but this is projected to earn about $10 a day in Bitcoin mining profits. Also, if you have 12 cents per kilowatt hour electricity, this will cost you about $9.66 to run. Uh, 12 cents is a good residential uh, electric electricity rate these days. Uh, you know for the country as an average sadly uh which makes us about a quarter a day and yeah it's not all that great uh bitcoin right now at the time of recording this is trading at twenty eight thousand dollars i firmly believe that we will see a one hundred thousand dollar bitcoin which means that in retrospect i could just sit here and tread water and if i can right pay the electricity bill out of pocket and hodl then I could be seeing a full X on this. So I could really be mining $40 a day, costing $10 a day at this electricity rate in retrospect. Sure, you know, that's a gamble, but kind of everything in life is. To put this into perspective, right, even if you go down to just eight cents per kilowatt hour, you start making a lot of money. $3.50 a day, $1,250 uh, a year, which means that over the next two years, you would pay your electricity electricity bill and completely pay off the machine. Keep in mind the best mining farms have two, three, four, five cents electricity. You know, they start to look at a one year break even period uh, at those uh, electricity rates. So just kind of understand that and, and put that into perspective. Remember that Bitcoin mining has been industrialized. 
Bitcoin mining is more difficult than it's ever been. This is the difficulty chart over the last year, but how about we zoom out and realize that, again, literally, truly, Bitcoin mining is more difficult than it has ever been. The elephant in the room, if you will, is the fact that the Bitcoin halving is in 330 days approximately. This means that the amount of Bitcoin mined per day will be cut in half again. This, this happens every four years with Bitcoin. This time the Bitcoin mine per block is going from six and a quarter to three and one eighth. Originally it was 50 BTC. Don't you wish you could go back and stack some? Me too. So uh, with all that said, understand that our runway for the immediate Bitcoin mining profitability uh, is really a year before it gets sliced in half. Historically, this hasn't really mattered because Bitcoin continues to go up in price, but you never really know. The current hash rate is a whole freaking lot, 388 exahash a second. The last 30 days, 348, which means that the hash value of Satoshis per terahash per day is 280 sats. The next difficulty adjustment is in just a few days from recording this, probably about the day that you will watch this video go live. The good news is that it's actually projected to adjust down for the first time in quite a while. The last time that Bitcoin mining difficulty adjusted down was about three months ago, and it was a very minute down adjustment, but any downward adjustment is a relief for Bitcoin miners like myself and many others. And uh, yeah, as long as it just stops going up for a little bit, that, that would be great. Uh, because as it stands, I'm basically adding more and more Bitcoin miners, but I'm not really mining any more actual Bitcoin. That's kind of like the dilemma with Bitcoin mining is so I can go over here and you can see, you know, I go back in time and I'll have a lower hash rate, right? So 500 terahash a second, but I'm mining a similar amount of Bitcoin as I am today, right? So about 500 terahash a second. I know we'll say this is about two months ago and I'm, I'm mining about 150,000 Satoshis per day, right? And we look at just the last couple of days of my Bitcoin mining profitability. Or actually specifically, we'll look at this day when I bumped up my hash rate to almost 600 terahash a second. So I'm mining about as much Bitcoin as I was two months ago with an increase of 20% onto my Bitcoin mining power. And that's really not all that surprising because a couple months ago, Bitcoin mining was literally just less difficult to mine. So the more difficult it is, the less coins you get. There's a lot of money to be had mining Bitcoin every day. There's over $20 million in Bitcoin mines in the last 24 hours, $28 million of new Bitcoin has been mined on the network. New coins go to miners as well as all transaction fees that at least can happen on the main chain there. Ordinals, which are basically Bitcoin NFTs are also contributing positively to Bitcoin mining profitability. It's minute in the grand scheme of things, but it is the first notable thing ever to increase Bitcoin mining profits because Bitcoin has really always functioned as peer-to-peer -peer cash, a digital currency, digital gold, but never really a platform where anything takes place on top of it. For example, what made Ethereum so profitable to mine when it was still mineable is the fact that so much was taking place on chain and there were tokens that were taking off platforms, dApps, decentralized applications, and all kinds of things that was just making Ethereum fly around. And part of the way though, blockchain works is that miners are compensated a piece of that or previously all of that for computing all those transactions but hey to round out this video the bitmain not a terrible name here ant miner s19 j pro plus has been a great miner so far dollar for dollar this thing is awesome and as much as I want a mining farm completely built out of S19 XP miners because they're more efficient, the dollar difference with this versus the XP, I mean, you could buy, especially on the right day, almost three of these. 
and get 360 terahash a second for less than $7,000, consuming about 10,000 watts. Or you could buy one Bitmain Antminer S19 XP for about, and this is a bit of a roundup, $7,000. But you'd only be mining 140 terahash a second at about 3,000 watts. Dollar for dollar, it is a no-brainer. And if that little bit of efficiency makes or breaks your mining operation, well, you're already kind of drowning. You're already kind of underwater. Which is why, personally, I am pursuing heavily a hard drive mining endeavor I just talked about uh, in one of the last videos. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, to expand the Chia mining footprint, but I don't want to go, of course, on a tangent here. Um, if you find, but I do want to make a note, if you find your electricity rate is high, then consider altcoin mining. You could say it's a little more risky, but there's less competition there. And if you don't have as competitive of an electricity rate, but you still want to pursue passive income with cryptocurrency through mining, that's going to probably be a better endeavor for you. As always, it's not financial advice, but I do advise you to subscribe to the Voscoin YouTube channel if for no other reason than our CMO, our chief mining officer, the best C title in the world, the biggest in the biz, that's going to be Tails Vosk. The coolest Dogecoin. Shiba Inu. In the world.